Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's compare the gradient of a function to the derivative of a function. And you say, well, they're not quite the same thing because when we take the derivative of a function, we get a scalar quantity. When we take the gradient, we get a vector quantity. So how can you compare them to each other? But if we take the gradient of a function and then we multiply it via the dot product with a line segment, dl, then the vector component disappears and we simply end up with a scalar function again. And so there's a lot of comparison now between the derivative and the gradient of a function, especially when we then also multiply it via the dot product with dl. And so when we use the fundamental theorem of calculus and we apply that to gradients, we essentially also have the fundamental theorem of gradients, which then says that if you take the integral from a to b of the gradient of a function dot dl, that is equal to the function evaluated at b minus the function evaluated at a. It looks exactly the same as a fundamental theorem of calculus. And it turns out that it's independent of the path taken. It doesn't matter how you get from a to b, because that's essentially what the theorem should then say. You simply need to know the two endpoints, evaluate the function at the two endpoints, and you get the same as the integral of the gradient of a function dot dl. So it turns out that if you're faced with having to execute this, you can now realize, ah, because of the fundamental theorem of calculus, or oh, the fundamental theorem of a gradient, same thing, I can simply take the function at the two endpoints, subtract the two, and get the same result. Now it also turns out, of course, if we integrate along a closed path so that we end up in the same place that we started, that of course will be equal to zero, since the function evaluated b minus the function evaluated a well, since a and b are equal to each other, the difference should therefore be zero. So when we keep that in mind, this can become a very handy theorem indeed. And that is how it's done. How's that? Two minutes. Two minutes. Not bad. <laughs>